All right, folks. Just wanted to give you a little update. Looks like we're about 11 miles in, 11.4 miles. Uh, we're about halfway there. And as you can see, I've been on PAS3 a lot of the way. And uh, my energy bar is down past halfway. So kind of in no man's land. If I go to my volts, I'm at uh, about 46 volts. And uh, I'm going to stop up here and see if it'll... I don't know if regenerates the right word, but if you rest, it tends to climb back up just a little bit. And you said I'm on PAS3. And this wouldn't really be considered off-road. I mean, it is gravel, but it's fairly smooth. This might be a good place. It's a nice little clearing. Um, let's take a look. Let me turn my PAS is off. My volt is at 47.5 or so. Uh, I've been riding for about 59, almost an hour. About 11.8 miles in. So, uh, the volt's at 47.6. So an energy bar or two has already gone up a little bit. Um, let me get back up into this even ground a little. Um, 47.6. So we're at about half a battery. This thing will cut, the battery will be spent, I think, at about 41 volts, maybe 42. We've used about 6 volts or so. And uh, we're at about half its voltage is starting to climb back up. Um, we'll let it rest for just a minute. And let's take a look around where we are. I mean, there's nothing around here. I kicked it. I've been going in PAS3. And uh, this road i don't know if it's if i'm on a little bit of an incline it's really hard to tell but man whenever i kick the uh, pedal assist off or kick it down onto a low pedal assist and try to outwork it i can definitely tell it's a lot harder than it was on my last trail um, whenever i got chased by the dog <laughs> i think that was going downhill a little bit but this seems to be going up a little bit. It's a little bit harder to pedal. So I'm using a little bit more assist. And uh, I think I had a little bit more battery than this left on my West Fork River Trail after going about 14 miles. And I, at this point, I'm up to about, I don't know what it was, 10 and a half, 11. Um, 11.8 almost 12 I got this bug flying around my face but anyway I'm gonna sit and let this rest for just a minute and uh, see if it'll rejuvenate anymore and pull out my phone and see exactly where I am on the map so I'll be right back with you okay folks uh, I'm taking back off our volts um, ended up going back up to about 47.8 again that's about half power or so maybe a slightly more so uh, we'll continue on Let's see what happens here about 11.8 miles how are you? And I tell you what, 
this pedal assist one I'm basically using no current zero current pedal assist one will hold you at about five or six miles an hour and uh, I'm going anywhere from 8 to 10 so I'm pretty much using the human power right now just to conserve battery just a little bit I'm trying to decide if I want to stop it well we'll just see how far the battery takes us because I tell you with my knee After going this far, holy crap, what is this stuff? All right, this is interesting. I'll let the bike rest again. I don't know if you guys can see this, but uh, let's take a look and see what this is. I'll watch out for rattlesnakes and copperheads and stuff whatever might be in these things I don't know what that is yeah if somebody has any idea maybe you can let me know in the comments whatever it is whatever they are they go all the way out through here. Some sort of little oven type things. And it may have something to do with the glass industry or the coal industry. And they go all the way out through. This whole hump has those lined up. Uh, you can see I mean, they go all the way out through West Virginia used to be a big big uh, glass making state as well we had a company a company called Blinko gas or Blinko glass a pretty big nationally known glass company and these things go all the way out through here I'll have to do some research looks like right over here might be the last well no they're going all out through the woods here wild what you find out on these trails like I said but uh, yeah I think maybe right here is the last one but man they they go way out through there huh I don't know that lands posted so uh, no trespassing So, probably shouldn't go up in there too far, but it's possible, I don't know, maybe some kind of coke furnaces, which is a byproduct of coal. There's an old road that looks like it went up through there to get to them back in the day. I don't know. It's interesting. Well, anyway, we'll continue and see how long this battery will last us. Uh, again, I'm a pretty large guy. I think that I think this gravel is helping to drain the battery. Even though it's crushed and it's pretty packed 
and it's packed pretty tight um, that still puts a little bit more resistance on these wide tires so you know if this was asphalt pavement I don't really don't think that it would be draining my battery as much but uh, anyway I'm gonna kick it up on two we're getting getting closer to a dam called Opakis Opakiski Dam and we used to come out here and fish uh, it's actually not too far from Cricket's Fork but I don't know if I want to get between the dam and the Cricket's Fork and uh, run out of battery and have to pedal along this path with just my own power might get a little bit tiring I'm already panting a little bit if you can tell uh, but anyway we'll see okay folks I don't know if you can see through the trees but we are coming up on Opakispe Opakispe Dam uh, and locks. So when we get up here, we'll check and see where our battery is. Hello, hi, how are you? And then we'll determine if we want to try to go on to Prickett's Ford or not. Because I have to tell you, my legs are burning. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to use my human power right now. Still got 47 volts. It's a little bit of a calculation, I don't know. But we're riding up onto the dam now. It looks by the looks of this fence they do not want you going over there at all this one is like I said there's three dams going from Morgantown to Fairmont and this one is by far the most protected one I believe <laughs> I don't think any of those other ones have these fences with the barbed wire at the top One way you can tell what type of a place it is, if the bob wire is leaning out of the facility, they're trying to keep you out of it. If you go to a prison or something, the bob wire is pointed in so they can't climb up out. <laughs> so that tells me they're wanting to keep us out of that place. And again, it looks like there's a car up here. Like I said earlier, this is a uh, pretty popular fishing area. There's the sign, Opakiska Lock and Dam. U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, keep it up. So. Anyway, that's it. Oh, there's a duck. Little action shot there. 
Tell you, when we get up to this little bridge we're getting ready to pass, when I get up to this bridge, I'm going to uh, stop, uh, take inventory of my battery, see how much farther it is to Cricket's Fort, and decide if my battery is going to make me or make it up that way or that far. Because again, I don't want to have to pedal on this trail without a little bit of help on this bike. So, so let me let me pause you real quick. It's so much easier pedaling on something like this than it is that uh, gravel. But I'm going to take a look, and I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, after surveying my situation, I think I'm going to go ahead and chance it and try to make it on to Prickett's Fort. I'm kind of racing the weather. The uh, cell phone coverage isn't the best out, th out this way, but... Uh, It looks like it's due to get here in about an hour and a half, and uh, I think I can get to Prickett's Fort within a half hour or 45 minutes, so uh, I think I'll be okay as far as that goes. Um, my only issue is the battery, so... So we'll see how it does. I'm going to try to use as much of my pedaling power as I can. On the way. By the way, the picture on my... Uh, YouTube homepage. My wife and I are standing right here <laughs> taking a selfie. We have gone on this part of the trail. We rode from our house all the way up to that Opakiska Dam, but that's as far as we had been. So, but it's been a little while, so. I mean, there's a little bit of distance between here and Prickett's Fort, but I don't remember it being too awfully bad, but we'll see how we do. So, the trail will pretty much look like this most of the way, just right along the river. So, I'm going to go ahead and pause you to save my battery a little bit, and uh, I'll get back with you whenever we come across something interesting. All right, guys. We're about 17.8 miles. We're getting close to... Cricket's Fort, and still it's 46 volts. Like I said, 41 is the cutoff. I've been riding in pedal assist 2, about 10 miles an hour. Now our other problems starting to come in to play and starting to sprinkle. 
So, I'm going to kick it up to assist three and uh, see if I can get there a little faster. Let's see, let me put in seventh gear so I can help it a little bit more. Try to get there a little bit faster. Yeah, this bike normally, oh, well, there we go. Going about 19, 20 miles an hour now. But it drains your energy real fast. But I also don't want to get rain, rained on. So. A little rough there. Oh boy. I see our bridge. Which means we're here. Happy days right around this curve. I tell you, this trail with its uh, gravel I can really tell the difference in battery life. It's gravel and dirt. Here's the bridge I stopped at on one of my videos. And we are at the fort. I'm gonna try to uh, stop real quick, call my wife and get her on the road. To come pick me up because I'm sure I can't make it back to the house from here but I'll be right back with you okay folks I got my wife called she's on the way this isn't too far from my house uh, but again my battery is getting pretty low so and it's starting to sprinkle so I at least have a place up here that I can get out of the rain if it starts. And uh, you can definitely tell when the battery starts to get a little bit low. It's a little harder to pull you up hills, but uh, it's pulling me up fairly decently. <sighs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, I ate a few bugs. My glasses did help to keep them out of my eyes for the most part. But we are back here at the fort. So this might be a good time to play around a little bit and see how much more we can get out of this battery. Uh, we got about almost 19 miles, 18.9. So, uh, yeah, this is where I was the other day. They had some tents put up out here, and uh, kind of come out here by the fort a little bit. Kind of see the fort. Now, this fort has been reconstructed. Uh, but quite some time ago, it looks like they used a lot of the original wood. Um, looks like the little log cabin type things on the ends are the axe cut. So, it looks 
like at least those are pretty original. Um, riding through the grass here, it does real well. Oh, through the grass, a little bumpy. But uh, I guess right there's the door to enter. And uh, we got a little gift shop and old houses over here and stuff from back in the day. Uh, but yeah. So, so we made it. 19 miles. Hey, it's good to be back to where you know where you are. <laughs> uh, let's see here. stop right here at this little place <sighs> nice little shelter <sighs> it's pretty nice I've got a hand sanitizer and we'll go over our analytics so we've got 19.2 miles today. I actually used Pedal Assist 3 quite a bit, especially once we passed the Okapis, Oka, Opakeski Dam, and uh, between there and, and here, we used a lot of Pedal Assist 3 when it started sprinkling. Wanted to make sure I could get here out of the rain a little bit. Uh, it's a little chilly today. It's, I don't know, about 60, one, two, 63 degrees, somewhere in there. So getting wet would be really cold. Um, went 19.2 miles. I've got 46.3 volts left. You can see I've got four bars on my energy bar thing. This is just a guideline. Um, if you want a real accurate uh, measure of how much battery you have left, it's best to look here on the volt screen. Um, Again, 41, 42 volts is kind of battery shutoff time. So I've got 46.4 left. Um, about two hours trip time. I did stop a few times when we looked in those caves and the uh, uh, those other brick oven looking things. That I'm not sure what those are. And we stopped once or twice for a little drink of water, but uh, I'm up to 123 miles on my bike. Anyway, I uh, appreciate you guys hanging with me this long. Um, again, we went uh, about 19.2 miles and just about the whole thing was on crushed stone. So, uh, not bad for a guy my size to get 20 miles, still have some battery left. And uh, it was pretty hard pedaling. Um, I like to do a lot of the pedaling, but man, that crushed stone uh, really takes it out of you. My legs are sore. This is uh, something that we passed the other time. Um, this kind of gives you a little bit of history about the Monongahela River. Um, And then this is the stand where you can pump up your tires. They've got some wrenches and screwdrivers and uh, all kinds of wrenches that you might need to work on your bike if something happens along the way. Pretty nice. 
uh, little shelter. It's starting to rain now. Uh, so, I'm going to say bye for now. Um, get yourself electric XP. Excellent exercise. Uh, gives you a little help along the way. And uh, get out and explore new trails, new roads, places you haven't been to before. I got to see some some old mining caves and and uh, ventilation caves and some sort of brick furnace stuff <laughs> that I had no idea was there. So uh, so anyway, I had a good time today, even though it's a little bit chilly and a little rainy. So we'll see you next time. Um, thanks for sticking by with me this long and uh, if you like these videos please subscribe um, it'll let you know whenever the next time I post and uh, we'll see you next time